Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, very cool today. I got uh, the Alita Battle Angel uh, Steel Book from Best Buy. Best Buy exclusive three uh, Blu-ray 3D, 4K Blu-ray, and digital code. I did not know it had 3D in here. Um, it says right here on the front, but uh, that's cool. I don't have a 3D player, and I feel like that's actually kind of been like a dead format now. It was so popular a couple years ago. I suppose it's been a couple years, but uh, I knew lots of people who really invested in 3D. And then I think 4K came along and people started doing that instead because that's a little easier as opposed to watching things with glasses. But anyway, I'm rambling. Who cares? Um, so this, this is the Alita Battle Angel Steelbook. This cool artwork with her hand on here. I didn't ask about the calligraphy and stuff on it. I have not seen this film. I have heard mostly good things about it. Um, I don't think it did very well in the theater. Um, I actually didn't see like a shitload of promotions for it. I saw some promotions about the time it was being released, but I feel like I saw a trailer like six months to a year before it was released, and then I saw one like a week before it was released. So I don't know if the marketing was fucked up. It's Fox. Maybe it was during that whole transition to Disney and stuff. So maybe that's why. I don't know. But anyway, here it is, a steel book. Um, how I opened it up. Like I said, I haven't seen it, but I've heard good things. Uh, I'm looking forward to checking it out. Christoph Waltz is in it. Uh, Mahershala Ali is in it. And the woman on the... What's her name? Rosa Salazar. I don't know. If she's been in other stuff, I think. But I don't think I've ever seen her before. This is based off of an anime or a manga. I think it's an, a manga. I'm not really sure. <clears throat> Excuse me. Well, that's disappointing. The back is just black. I was afraid of that. And it's matte, too, so it's going to get scuff scuffs immediately. Sorry, I'm getting the glue off of here. Look at this. That's the back. It's just it's just black, and it's got the, the fox. You can't even see that really there. You see that? Yeah. And, like, really light silver on the back there. The cover is great, though, but I feel like this is a wasted opportunity. They could have put anything on the back. You know? But, hmm. That's weird. I don't see any... Actually, let's shoot this. I don't see any dents or dings or anything. It's got a shininess to it, but it's it's definitely matte finish. No spine slash. It's a little small, the writing on the side. And it's nothing, no fork hair, nothing down at the bottom there. It just says Fox, Twisted Tree Fox, and then uh, whatever logo that is. Um, Lightstorm, I think. So that's kind of lame, that the back is nothing, but the front is great. I feel like Alita could be a little bit bigger, actually, but yeah. Anyway, let's open this up. There are three discs. There's a code here. I'll put that aside. So on the left, you've got the 4K. On the right is the 3D. It shows her playing that, that game or that, like, rollerball, I think. And behind that, you see the regular Blu-ray. Here's the uh, <clears throat> 4K. And there's an image from the film. I don't know what that is. Like I said, I haven't seen it, so I don't know what's going on here. But it um, looks like a, almost a dystopian, but not quite. Just a futuristic city. Cityscape. Yeah, I don't understand it when they would not put something on the back like this. I don't get it. But yeah, anyway... I guess that's pretty cool, right? I'm looking forward to checking this out. Like I said, I've heard mostly good things. There is... Wait, is there? I don't th I don't think there's a Target exclusive or anything else of this film, so I think it's just the regular releases. I don't know if there's a standalone 3D being released. There might be. I don't, I don't recall. Like I said, I didn't even notice one came with it. But uh, let's look on the back here. It's uh, a mesmerizing feat of filmmaking... Stunning in 3D. In this epic adventure of hope and empowerment, a cyborg, Alita, Rosa Salazar, searches for clues from her past when she awakens in a future world she does not recognize. And disc 1 is the 4K with the film. Disc 2 is the Blu-ray. And disc 3 is the, um, the Blu-ray, uh, excuse me, the Blu-ray 3D. And disc 3 is the Blu-ray with all the features. It's a Movies Anywhere code. I think all Fox codes are Movies Anywhere, and then obviously Disney's, Disney's are. So yeah, and it's got the information for the 4K and the 3D about what you need, TV, glasses, all that stuff, so. How long is this film? I'm not seeing it, I'm sure, oh there it is, 122 minutes, so. 
just over two hours. So yeah, that's it. <clears throat> like I said, I, I wish I could talk more about it. I haven't seen it though, so I am planning on checking it out um, very soon. Like I did want to watch this film. I know it's been. I think it was released in February. Is that right? So it's actually been about four-ish months. Today, today is a Saturday, um, July twentieth. So it has been five. It's been five months. Typically, the typical release of these uh, films are now around about three months, three or four months. So that's a little bit longer. I think there was some limbo with releasing rights and stuff. So maybe that's why. But anyway, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, yeah, it's it's a little disappointing that there's nothing on the back, but this this image is really cool. But um, you know. Whatever. For thirty-five bucks, you'd hope to get something a little bit, a little bit better. But I guess it's already in a steel book, so what can I complain about? Well, anything I put one. Anyway, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again later for other steel books and random other shit I gotta talk about. So, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye.